Okay. All right, well, I guess I'll take it from here. So it became one of the greatest Pittsburgh sports anthems, and it was made by a fan himself from a lone keyboard in a Pittsburgh basement to the minds of all Yinzers forever. Here's a story of Here We Go. North Allegheny Band was marching around Ross Park Mall to set a record. And it said in the article, they played band favorites like Louie Luai, Twist and Shout, and Here We Go. And I thought, wow, to be in that group with those two songs, it sounded great. The 1980s and 90s, the number of championship rings may have been low, but the number of Steeler fans still high. And with the proliferation of home recording devices, fans were writing fight songs in mass. And the radio stations used to play them. Hey, I made up a song, I'm gonna send it in. And basically that's what I did. Here we go. I sat down on the piano. Here we go. The bass line came to me right away. Here we go. We'd go dun, 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 dun. And then the melody just popped right in. Took me 20 minutes, wrote the song, and still playing it today. Pittsburgh's gone to the Super Bowl. Here we go. Cheer the Steelers, black and the gold. Here we go. It's town of Pittsburgh's heart and soul. Here we go. With Kyle Power, we'll get the job done. This is the year we'll get that one for the thumb. I think it has had a great impact on the fans. Here we go. It's a simple song, so everybody can get involved, whether you're young, old, whatever. You can still sing this song. So uh, in that way, I think it, it's impacted everybody. You know, I feel like I've, I've contributed something to the, you know, the Steeler fan base, and it, and it makes me feel really good about that because I feel like it's, I am a, a part of this. Super Bowl.